Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode in my playthrough of Tacoma. We have arrived at the space station Tacoma, which is run by an AI known as Odin. We are AI specialists or engineers of sorts, and we're here to try to figure out what went wrong, collect some data and all that kind of stuff, kind of unraveling a mystery of what has happened on here. There's a crew of six people and we know they've been evacuated. Now, I don't know if they were evacuated alive or dead yet, but I only bring that up because we know that there was some debris from an asteroid field that hit this station and they got basically stranded here with about 48 hours worth of air and no communication to the outside world. Or would it be the inside world at this point since they are on the outside of the world? <laughs> totally loving this little mystery and we're continuing to navigate around here. We're getting to know the characters, getting to know Odin a little bit. Definitely some corrupted files all over the place, so we still got a lot to figure out. If by some chance this is your first time finding my channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have a really good time, it sure does help me out when you think about hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's continue to navigate and explore this facility. See if we can unravel the mysteries of what really happened, what happened with Odin, and did our crew get out of here alive? All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I'm so excited to get to explore some more of this. I just went out, recorded my next intro, and then got right back in here. Now, we're going to start this over. And this time, we're going to go in here and start with Sarah. Maybe we can get into her locker. We can watch her punch in the code like before. Through this, I... Oh, like zero three. This, I learned that people... Zero three one five. She did that fast. She was even hitting that first button before she got up there. There we are. Oh, look at that. She's got gold. That's fun. Weight training. She's advanced level three. Sarah's a tank, man. She ain't playing around. Fit monthly. Adult muscular musculature tendencies modifications the real limits what the fittest woman in the world eats that's fun google's ai personal trainer pass or fail check that out freedom republic armed forces fitness challenge 2088 20 qualifying women will receive one month of deluxe personalized training at dallas fitness i wonder if she was like trying to become one of these 20 women was she reading this just for motivation or was she reading this because she wanted to uh, join? Look how they got like the the white bar going across their eyes in those pictures. That must be this AR thing that seems to be connected to everything. Must be what it looks like. Wow. Uh, grab wrapper. Yo, it's a whole meal opened. Clearly, she's been using this. We've got 30 grams of fat. Where's the protein? How much protein you got in there? 53 grams of protein in that little bitty thing right there. That is impressive. Okay. We can continue. People do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Oh. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, here. your stories aren't usually such We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or Is disease everything or... okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with your you potential departure. Station, doctor? Wait, ah. okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um... Sorry. What? Wait a second. Uh, straight from the station, doctor. Wait. Okay, you mean on. me? 
<clears throat> or hey Sarah, can I? Okay, I didn't know Odin looked like he turned clear. I wasn't sure if that was like signifying frustration or something, but he just kind of disappeared. What? Oh, um, sorry. What is it? That's wild. Hold on, Wait. just a second. I wanna, I wanna hear what he said at the very beginning again too. He said something about people don't always want what they actually think they want, or something to that effect. Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. People don't always want what they believe they want. That's something that I would totally worry about. So there's been lots of movies and stuff created with AI where it's like they're given these set of rules and like maybe one of those rules is you got to keep humans safe. But then they ultimately reach a conclusion that the only way for me to fulfill that goal is I have to be in control because they can't keep themselves safe. So I need to be in control of them, you know? So I'm a little nervous that maybe Odin has reached a point where uh, he's trying to take more control than he's supposed to to fulfill one of his objectives. Now, he did say something there towards the end about him not looking forward to their departure, and then he got cut off before he could say, Sarah was like, me departing or and i think she was about to either ask the whole crew or whatever that's my big theory right now as i stated in the last episode i think odin doesn't want them to leave um but we'll find out as we continue i believe i Oop. okay so we got the mechanical person i remember seeing they brought something up where'd you go uh, oh, no, wait a minute. Clive, we haven't seen yet. Is he down here? In his room, maybe? He is in his room doing something. Emerging artist. Ugh. Kind of cool, kind of disturbing. Venturis Zenith Luna Resort. Yo. It looks... That looks like such a weird blend. You got all this futuristic, beautiful sculpture that looks like it belongs on Earth, but then you just have it on all this rock. It's like if you took a skyscraper and you put it in the center of a desert all by itself. It would look amazing, but also really out of place. You know what I mean? Wow, he's actually got a pretty decent view in his place right here. We'll see what he's doing here in a minute. I'm having fun looking at this. Main lobby. That'd be cool if we actually got to go explore through that. Anything in your drawer? He's got an apple and some bubble gum. Coconut lemon? Coconut lemon bubble gum. You guys will let me know if you think that sounds good. All right, so we got... He's taking his vitamins. That's good. That's good. Okay, well, who are you chatting with? Oh, you're talking to... Wait, he's talking to Carnival, and the other guy had an email or a message from Carnival. Off-station AR call. Carnival Cruise. Okay, so that's what the Carnival's for. Nothing there. Orbital Work Union. A message from the Orbital Hospitality and Logistics. Remember your rights. February 29, 2080 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crewmen. Crew members. Oh, historical human oversight. Accord. Putting a halt to the obsolescence. Sorry. That's a hard word for me to say. Obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of advancing automation. It is your legal right to celebrate this momentous event on the last day of February every year, no matter what your employer claims. Remember the 29th? It's a leap year. That's interesting about that article we were reading. Remember, any attempts at worker suppression to your OHLU local representatives. Oh, report any attempts. On behalf of all your fellow union workers, happy obsolescence day. 
So that's what they were celebrating. They weren't celebrating obsolescence like they were about to leave. They were celebrating this day. I see, I see. Banter. Page 18 of 32. A guide for the inspired social climber. There's no need for the workplace to be humorless as a morgue. Undertakers aside, make levity part of your workday. Shared references can blank. Find out what movies and TV programs are tickling funny bones around the office. And that's how fast friends are made. <laughs> What's this? As you wish, mon capitaine. Okay. Uh, to keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher ups, refer to them as amusing and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable bon mots like fearless leader, skipper, or head honcho. So skip those ones or use those ones. Are those recommend? Those, those must be recommendations instead. There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cafeteria. Well, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he was reading something to try to, I guess, get better at communicating with people. Okay, let's see where we go here. Oh, he doesn't start out in here. Where are you at? So you came from in here. Wasn't your locker... What is this? Personal quarters. Oh, so that... Okay. Let's watch this first. Recover. No, Germ, look, I just... <laughs> I don't know... Okay, it looks like we got something here. Okay, he's talking with him again. It's true. Here's why I'll be out of touch for the next eight months or so. Carnival Cruise Lines launches Far Reaches Expedition to our past Jupiter, an historical first for orbital vacation travel. Carnival Cruise Lines Resplendence. That sounds impressive. Long term habitation vessels will host 1,333 of Earth's wealthiest and most adventurous travelers for the voyage of a lifetime. Helmed by Chief Cruise Officer Germain Burgess, the resplendence, I'm going to assume, captain, swing tightly past Jupiter, giving lucky passengers an extended view of this spectacular gas giant, its many moons, and its famous great red spot, before continuing on cruise back towards Earth. The full duration of the excursion is nearly eight full calendar months, during which time, probably all kinds of other things going on board. Message from Evie. Sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not in the least, my dear. All good Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea. And in bull. <laughs> they have AR tutorials for everything these days. Oh, so he was trying to learn how to... I wonder if he was trying to work on his etiquette so he could maybe join this cruise. Captured eight months ago. Okay, so... I don't know why. Uh, I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm spilling... There's something that happened. Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm spilling hmm. scotch all over out of space. <laughs> Okay, well, he clearly is, uh... Oh, look, it's like, it's still going? But there's nothing happening right here. Man on the moon. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so nervous for copyright issues here. I want to let it play through the end in case anything else happens. Is this Lou? Yeah, it's Lou. Okay, looks like after he spilt, nothing else really happened. Mm. Oh, I thought that was a, a candy bar or something in here. I was like, dude, I don't know if I would be eating that while doing my duty. Open lid. Oh. 
Clive, your great grandmother would never have forgiven me if she knew I was sending this to you, like a fool. I expect it returned without a scratch. Write me soon. Mother misses you. What? New arts. Fa oh, some of the art. Oh, okay. I mean, they are beautiful pictures. So he's got something over here. Wow. If I was in space, I would need some Earth pictures with me, too. Something to remind me of what's down there. Uh, I really would. Here's the carnival. Dear Clive, as per our prior conversation, we must reiterate that our decision regarding your application for readmission into the carnival employee ecosystem is final. Despite having received letter of endorsement from current employee, Burgess Germain, we cannot alter our position on this matter. Unfortunately, employees who fail to fulfill contracted duration with Carnival are not eligible for rehire now or in the future. Oh, so he used to work for them and he quit his contract early. Did he quit it early so he could come up here? There's another paper in here. Dear Mr. Sadiq, this is September of 2087 also. Thank you for your interest in rejoining the Hilton family. Unfortunately, at this time, we are seeking a candidate with deeper experience working with the public at a high level of service. We welcome you to reapply once you have achieved at least two full-length postings at a position of management cur serve on a Class 3 leisure facility or greater. Regret to state that attending Hilton University is not a guarantee of employment since you left the Hilton family following graduation. We wish you all the best. Oh, man. Okay. So that's 2087. Was there a date on this by any chance? I don't see a date on that. So I think he used to work there. Terminated it early. I, I guess maybe to come here. And then tried to join them and they're like okay well we're okay with you joining us but you just don't have enough experience yet or maybe he tried to join them was told he didn't have enough experience tried to join them i don't know without a date i can't really put these in proper order i'm only guessing but clearly those were not uh working as he had hoped right there softlets What else we got? Hilt Loan. That's the Hilton University. That's where he went. Date of the build. January 27, 2088. Automatic bill pay scheduled for February 5th, 2088. That's so crazy that you can like rummage through all this stuff. Try to get a better picture of what was going on. Beef chili. <laughs> this is so wild. From Russia with love. Smile Venus. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to make plans for when he was done up here. Or if he was up here because everything out there failed. Or maybe this interrupted. What he was doing, and that's messed everything up for afterwards. I don't know. I'm kind of confused on the order in which things went down, but. Okay, well, let's pick up with him here. Jim, are you there? Ah, uh, hello. Oh. And this was captured four days ago. So this would be the most recent interaction. So with Carnival, he was trying to hook up with them. They declined it. Germ had actually sent a record, uh, letter of recommendation. So this would be all after that. Expected. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely? No. You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that... Oh, yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol, then? That's tremendous. 
Eight oh, this months. is where she went. <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. He's using what he learned. Miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on. <laughs> this is so cool. So do you suppose there's good news? That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct in- Okay, so we've heard that. Uh, now, one thing we did not look at, though, was this moment here with the engineer. What is she looking at? Yearly hand count inventory checklist. Oh! So that's what they're doing, is checking inventory. Personalized therapy with licensed practitioner. We connect you with licensed therapists on demand. We're here to listen when you need it most. Roberta, maybe. And I'm trying to focus on the bright side with Nat. At least it pays well, the isolation pay. Well, oh wait, uh, feel like I'm holding her back. She's up here on this crap posting because it's all I qualified for and she could be somewhere so much better. Roberta Williams, okay, I have to go do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Thank you for using Orbi. Bye, Robert. <laughs> Session ended. Your Orbi licensed therapist today was Penny. Got a five-star rating. She must have did pretty good. Doesn't sound like we got to hear much of that conversation, though. Oh, this was a conversation with Clive. Yearly inventory quality assessment and count day. Already on it. Trying to get it all done before the obso day party tomorrow so i can party with a clear conscience understandable tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention do you think evie would mind if something no problem two heads are better than one so she must have asked if nat could come that failed okay uh close okay we're starting to piece some stuff together uh who have i not I guess there was a spot where I wasn't following her when she first left. All right, ladies, you have everything you need? Stop. It worked so smoothly. Thanks for offering to help. Very impressed by this game. She stay out here and listen for a minute or anything? Clive, may I come in? Eight months? <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Hmm. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta-ta. Sorry. The resplendence. Okay, well, who do we still have that I didn't... Look at here. What was she doing? What's she looking at here? Zero spiel. Are you sure? Says her tiny. Never sure. -er. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Rain Nivas Plus. No more bets. No more chances. Just this one. Her tiny's probability calculation fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Turn that off, she says under her breath. Don't need it. 13. The dolly drops on 13. Players' chips are raked by the table's magnets. Robertson pushes away from the roulette table and her mag boots disengage. The countersign has been confirmed. She is floating through the orbital casino at a measured pace. The gilded scales of women's dresses float away from their bodies in microgravity, shining like precious metal Christmas trees. Earth glows blue through the casino's picture window. Her tiny speaks in AR. I assume that means that you and the platform AI have an agreement in place? Robertson said something. Uh, Tiny probably said something. Robertson, we're one step closer to the biggest score low Earth orbit has ever seen. 
Okay, so she's just reading a novel there. Very fun. Odin, what's my cursed gym locker code? It is 0315. Of course. Right. Sorry for bugging you about it. I don't mind. So that's where I would have gotten the code. Message from Natalie. Here's his contact info if you want it. Bye. So, Hansen. Tangrier Orbital Freeport. Low Earth Orbit. This is the symbol that we saw on the other end. I can't remember who it was. It was... Was it Natalie? I want to say Natalie was the one that was talking with that. Okay. Well, it's a lot of people. Hackers, hippies, AI. Right, folks? Yeah, I mean... Tangiers is... T Tangiers? Tangiers is cool. She said something. Okay, well, I've got a friend there, and, and you'd like him. He's something, and he has a zero-G bonsai garden. That sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Gluely Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hanson, but maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, visit on your way home? I'll think about it. Okay, and then this was her sending the information. Okay. Okay, well, I think that's everybody and everything that was going on here. I feel like I've inspected everything pretty good. All right. Wow. Data process complete. Oh. <laughs> Please detach. Uh, first part of the AI network is fully transferred. Our techs here are looking at it remotely. It's intact. Wow. This is so crazy. Never played something like this before. I'm unraveling a mystery. Subcontractor Farrier, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with respect to this mission. You got it. Anything new popping up here? Doesn't look like it. So I'm still inside that first ring. The biomedical lab is the next ring. Okay, I see that. That's me. Okay, that's where the party was, administration. Yep, we went all through there. I was thinking there was one door though that I did not open yet. Back this way. Oh, maybe, I, oh, you know what? I think it was that office door down the hallway. Which I did open. Yeah, we went over there, went over there, went over there, okay. All right, we're gonna get to the medical lab. Will we figure out what happened from there? Okay, yeah, no door there. Just wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Trying to be thorough. Initiate. Do I need to select or will it just take me there? Now leaving personnel module. Super cool. Is it the same one? <laughs> That's crazy to think about. I'm floating. Hold space to restart. Oh. That is the room I just came out. Okay. <laughs> It's turning on me. So at first I was like, wait, is that where I went? That's observation. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. I see what's going on here now. That is so cool. Maybe we'll get a different advertisement now. So there's three rings. Just married. Newlyweds. New perspectives. Coming 2088. That'd be wild, just floating around inside of a room like that. Oh, kind of a weird sound. It's so quiet right here.
Hopefully everything's all right. Yo, this party. Very pretty. Here we are. Go ahead and attach this to the device again. That is so awesome. I still love that. Inbound message. A random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from, wait, branched from the original source over 100 years ago. He's an old guy. This is H, by the way. Hi. Uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom now. Bye. Oh. Well, that was somebody else. Do we have anybody named H that we've encountered yet? I don't think so. So we got two directions where we can go. We got botany and medical. Uh, I got a feeling medical might be where we learn some pretty interesting things. So let's go botany first. Not that we won't find an interesting thing here, but if we find out like there's issues with some of the crew. Although over here we might learn there's issues with food supply or something. Who knows? <laughs> right there, food supply. Personal quarters. Three days ago. Who is this before or after? the thing oh it said i tried down there right. just briefly what do you say folks yay or nay obviously we're on board i'm in me too okay all right oh is this them getting re essential personnel we need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible time is oxygen people break I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs and get I started on it. Oh my Something. god. Okay. <laughs> now we actually have to build hey, this thing. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Wanna yeah. talk? Sure, Evie. Evie. Are, we'll are start with okay? these two. Evie. Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and... Get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> right of your life. <laughs> In more ways than one. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. But Listen, it's it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie, I don't want to be realistic with you. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to remember. Was Clive the one that was being told that it wouldn't work out with Evie? 
I can't remember. Maybe it was. Uh, for a second, I was like, wait a second. Wasn't somebody else dating Evie in this scenario? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting confused. So much information all at one time. It can be real easy. I, it's not like I got a data log that I can keep track of these things very easily, you know? Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Aww. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. Oh. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? <laughs> Okay, that must be the end of that. So when they said to go in with, because I was like, what are they talking about going in? They're going to go into the cryogenic chambers, I think. Be like cryogenically frozen or sleep or whatever. And that's why they're like, the sooner we go in, the more time it gives the Natalie and, um, and the other lady time to try to get some kind of a vessel flyable. So they got something that they think they can turn into a flyable device. They're going to put the cryo chamber modules probably in that ship. And then they're going to try to fly it to someplace that's safe. And I don't know if that means Earth or to one of these resorts or bungalows or something. They haven't really clarified that. But I'm getting a better picture now of what's kind of going on there. That's just crazy. I love how these guys like all split up in different directions, but then they end up crisscrossing and coming back and stuff. So even though you might follow a particular person, it doesn't mean those are the only people you're going to see during that stint. And look, this is like a four minute clip right here. This is crazy. Okay. Let's see, before they split, let's see what shows up here. Urgent. All hands meeting right now. See subject, I'm in botany already. Get here. Standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry. 72 hours without serious risk of brain injury? Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? She's trying to find a solution, that's for sure. Uh, this is to Natalie. Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep. And, and I need to write up a serious letter of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside. But it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay. Hold on. Checking something. Okay. Roberta. Roberta. That's the, the other lady. But what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes. With some modifications, the bigger issue would be it lack its lack of life support. All right, we're missing some text. Salvage from around Tacoma. We could rig up oxygen, pressure, climate, something, something. Drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident VT making it up here before O2 runs out and we can't call for a pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. Okay, so the drone that usually brings packages here, which is the go-between place to the resort, they're saying when it gets here, instead of sending supplies on to there, let's send us. So they're going to try to get get it to where they can pilot it 
or they got to get it to where it can fly itself to where they want to I guess I don't know I guess if it's supposed to automatically go there maybe they don't need to necessarily pilot it but either way they're going to put the cryo chambers in the drone thing because there is no life support they're going to climb into those and they need to get there within a short amount of time because anything beyond 72 hours or whatever and they start to risk some serious health issues it's a pretty solid plan given their situation i think that's a really good plan now one thing i do find interesting about this situation though is there's no talk yet about odin there's no conversation about how odin could help they're not asking odin how to help anything so it makes me wonder hmm wonder if there's a reason and and uh andrew over here seems really disconnected from the rest of the group he's even standing here he he wasn't quite sure what he was going to do i know she made that comment about non-essential personnel and then he's like i'm gonna go find something to do so he almost feels like an outcast it seems like but uh let's follow him next i'm really curious well, um i'll head downstairs and get started on something okay <laughs> hey andrew andrew yeah Hey, are, are you okay? Evie! Hey! No, nope, I'm not. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no! I didn't see the password. Okay, O, two, eight, one. O, two, eight, one. <laughs> okay. What do you want to do? Is he just scared? I uh, I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. I, okay, I know what I said. But I. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well. Some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Bert and Matt need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. So that's why he was acting so hesitant about it. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go through with it. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew. What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98 Point four hours. God damn it. Oh, that's not good. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> that's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Hmm. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, alright? Of course. Okay, we might as well take a look at what he's got here. You know, that's, a, that's an interesting thought that I, I hadn't even brought up, too. It's like, if they got cryogenic 
capabilities here, why are they hopping on a drone? Why can't they just go to sleep and wait for the crew? But apparently, you know, I, I always assume that the cryogenic stuff is stuff that you can hop into and stay in for however long, you know? It's like, it's like sleep, <laughs> permanent sleep. Uh, you got to have oxygen and stuff. So maybe what it is is the problem is, is the amount of time they can stay in cryo is limited because they no longer have an out, uh, a constant oxygen supply. I'm assuming that's the reason. And so they're like, look, we can even, we can either wait here in cryo or we can build a ship and try to sail to somewhere with that same amount of time. I guess that's the reasoning. But yeah, I mean, 98 hours, that's almost double what they would be allowed to do, right? That's nuts. Just checking in after your renewal. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months. And that's not even taking my feelings into account. So these guys are like in some kind of relationship, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says something, something, something. I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution. I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all of that. And I am not blank. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know, blank, <laughs> really getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Yeah, they are definitely not doing well. Listen, I'm sorry. I just, connection loss. Hmm. So now he, he wants to send him a message saying, I'm sorry. Let's not end on that. Uh, EB, so I guess we should carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT's supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just blank in case our auction supply in short term. If worse came to worse. Listen, just something in case our auction supply in short term. So he was under the impression they should be here within 24 hours. He just found out that is definitely not, definitely not right. Natalie, there's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew, all comms are routed through a secured VT laser array and it's been destroyed and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Oh, nobody wants to talk to this guy. I can understand why he is a bit of a mess at the moment. to go out to try to catch Sarah? Is that what he tried to do? I can't remember if it was Sarah or... Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. So wild, you, you can hear him talking okay. on the other side of the door. Evie, I... Hello? So I'll catch up with you all later then. <laughs> there was something down here. What is this over here? Cigarettes. Stone shape shaping fundamentals for meditation. Make this effective modern meditation meditative practice part of your life. Andrew. Huh. I wasn't sure if that was like a monument they had set up for something. So this must be where he spends a chunk of his time. And he did something here. Oxygen supply. So he did something that bought them a little bit of extra right there. <laughs> Look how it's like four days ago. It's up here. Three days ago. And then boom. Not good. Oh, what else we got here? Algae population. Okay. Oxygen production. Okay. Well, I mean, the plant life seems to be doing well. It's definitely providing some help here in this 
mess that they have. Okay, well that was fascinating. Uh, let's see, let's restart everybody. Right to about the time they start to split up. Sure. Okay. So these are the two that they're really counting on being able to make this work. I can't believe everybody went along with this. No, I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Oh no. That was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um... Okay, that's where she asked for more time. I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> right of your life. More oh, ways no. than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops. The workshops. Okay, so I can't follow them to what they do. I'll, I'll continue them here in a minute. Um, that's so wild the way they do that. Now, we got one other person that I think goes off. Wait, is that everybody? We know what Sarah does. She goes down and talks to them. Those two run off that way. One confident they can build it, the other one not so sure. And these two go talking that way. I guess that's everybody. So we got one thing here. Was it medical? It was medical. So Sarah's down here. What did she look at? Oh no, she left for a little bit. Okay, let's back up to where she walks out the door. Now, okay. And and if I were to call the crew in to met, I guess it depends what it is. Give me a little time. That's so wild how you can do that. Speed it up just a tiny bit. See everything that's happening. Game's so well made. Very polished. Oh. Odin, I'm freaking out. Uh -oh. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt pillows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Wow, she is definitely having issues. And she's the medical person. This is not good. Captured three days ago. What? How's that captured three days ago? Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? I do. As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> She's struggling. I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Okay, and she goes out there and asks for an appointment. Supply level. Chicken? Fish? Cow? Lots of cow. Unless that's supposed to be sheep. I think it's cow, though. Wow. So the meditation stuff is something she's been using to try to help. Practical indoor gardening. The indefinite handbook for the indoor gardener since its first printing in 2008. Wow, that's relatable, isn't it? Practical indoor gardening lays out the basic principles of the successful indoor gardening. Whether greenhouse or hydroponic in a concise, easy to follow style. 
The beginner and the expert alike will find guidance and tips that will edify, charm, and inform. This collection of extensive botanical knowledge is here for the taking. All right, so she's growing some real food. Ooh. Andrew. Oh, it's not locked. I uh, thought for sure it was going to be locked. Ooh, question mark there. I'm going to guess mother. Pencil 10. Did they like to draw? Are these hand sketches? I got here. Venturist Technologies Policy Change Request Form. Policy counter official. I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year, memorializing the, the Tibetan genocide of 2052. The reason for the request. My family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered in this horrific ethical cleansing event. Oh, my. My parents and I escaped Tibet. Oh, Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, which I'm guessing is maybe who was in that picture. Oh, maybe he, it was him as a kid in that picture. Like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurred me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this one are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible event uh, are remembered, I'm going to guess, is maybe what that says underneath there. Interesting. What was that? <laughs> I thought I was in control of everything. Stuff starts moving on its own. We're in trouble. 0281. That might be the locker combination. I didn't get to go in. Oh, that reminds me. Wait, 0281 was that down there. Okay, that reminds me, though. There was one locker I didn't get to go in. Activate workshop. Okay, nothing new there. Okay. Put you away. Congratulations, Venturis Belt property owner. Dear contractor in good standing, Dag Dagyub. This message confirms completion of your request currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of 154,155 SGD and applied to your Venturis Belt Employee Investment Plan pre-registration fee. You are now the proud owner of Orbital Bungalow 0182 in the Venturis Belt. When the facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make money every time a passenger rents out your Orbital Bungalow. Congratulations on this wise investment and welcome to the family. Oh, so he got, that's what he's planning on as generating income. He's going to own one of the resorts. Beautiful orchids. Hi, everyone. My orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter, and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. They do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back if you'd like one. Cool. Okay. Um, I thought that's just going to be the window thing. I thought I saw, oh, the drawer. It's like, I know there's one more thing I wanted to look at. Oh, yep. He's a sketcher. What's this? Some post-its. Let it be known. 2088 post-its are still a thing. Even in space. I guess that's what he used right there, isn't it? That's a fun little room. I thought when Sarah came in here, this was something of hers. But I guess this is all botany stuff. The medical lab is where she resides. Okay, well, I think we've checked everything we can over here. There was another door on this side. Personal quarters. Oh, this is going to be the botany's personal quarters, I bet. Or botanist. Six months ago. Playing a violin? Or is he shooting something? Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. It's like a video game. 
<laughs> Who's this? Spitfire Sarah. Oh, Sarah's got the current high score. Or that's just her score. Why isn't she saying anything? So clearly the two of them were kind of close. Nothing to say? What we got here? That failed. That must be the family. Uh, off station message. Oh, from Nicholas, his son. Yes, I opened it. And? I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare off your cursed shiny scalp. Nicholas! Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> wow, he's gotten big. I thought it was supposed to be like some little kid, but well, he's like a full-grown man. Ventus stock tumbles following failure of orbital workers' safety bill. Bill would have repealed... Wait a minute, wait a minute. We... We got to read this already, didn't we? But it was kind of gibberish. Bill would have repelled the Human Oversight Accord, opening the door to ambitious Venturis Belt project. Space travel and hospitality corporations like Venturis are seeing their profits sink as... Oh, no, look, there is still the gibberish to hear. Okay, so yeah, we've read this one. Hmm. Interesting. Well... The fact that he bought one of those bungalows definitely would explain why he'd be a little bit nervous about what all's going on. <laughs> I was like, that's a little disturbing. The fourth book in Nina Lyre's best-selling Worship series. The Yem plays Heron Pug Pugya? Pugya? And her bow-wielding sister Sapna in Kola, a small town in eastern <laughs> Kalinga, where they hope to rest and prepare for their meeting with the powerful Gurunda. Gurunda Mio. Sorry if I butchered those names. I, I'm sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> However, Punya and Sa Sapnya find themselves in the midst of poised ceremony of blessings, which at first seemed so beautiful and harmless until something took notice. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just apologizing multiple times because I know I just butchered a bunch of names right there. There's gardening. Got another gardening book. Anything in your trash I want to look at? Ooh, protein energy bar there. Oh, got another sketch here. Chang Moon Goddess. Oh, this must be his grandmother. Yep. What's, what's this view? Hmm. Amazon University Buffalo. Rated in number one corporate for performing arts placement. Eighth year in a row. Dear Mr. Dagyab and Mr. Bergeroa, thank you for allowing us to show you and your talented son, Nicholas, around our cutting edge campus as the DEC's leading performing and augmented art education institute. AU Buffalo is proud to be the number one destination for talented students like Nicholas, whose ambitions drive them to forge a meaningful career in the arts. You expressed interest in discovering more about financial options to enable your son's education. We are happy to accept loyalty from internationally recognized corporate institutes, including the Venturis family of corporate entities at competitive rates. And if Nicholas is able to secure a position with Amazon, original content following graduation, we offer tuition forgiveness programs that could result in a college education for Nicholas at effectively no cost to you. Please contact us with, for more information. Wow, yeah, that seems like a good way to go, doesn't it? Cake bites. Oh boy, we're, we're past the hour already, aren't we? Finish exploring this room here. Uh, homework is more important than fun. Love, Nicholas. Have a good year in space. Aw. Little plants with little air bubbles around them. It's kind of wild. You do feel like you're kind of getting to know these people, don't you? Hi, Andrew. Sorry you couldn't be here for the dedication ceremony, but it was really lovely. 
Even Nicholas seemed moved. We found your grandmother's entry. Here's a photo. We'll visit together when you're home. Love you, Mark, I think is what that said. Oh, these are all the sunglasses. These are what he got from his his son. Stop the blocking. Uh, squash. We got seeds just laying around here. That's wild. I'm assuming that, yeah, we already went in there. Wow. That's wild. I wonder if him and Sarah were close. Not like close as in like a relationship, but like out of the crew that's here, if they were the two that were really close. Because you can kind of see groups of people. You know, um, you got Natalie and, oh, what was it? Bethany or something. I forget. Uh, you got those two that are close. Obviously, Clive and Evie are pretty close and it looks like maybe these two are kind of close okay well that's fantastic i think we've explored everything this area has to offer I, I, over here's where the view is at i don't know did i check to see if there's anything to interact with it's peaceful we'll get here Ooh. another one of his sketches i bet he spent a lot of time over here didn't he Got the relaxing sounds playing. That's pretty crazy. Okay, well, I think that's a good spot to end this episode. We will pick up on the next one. Heading over to the medical lab. Oh, we got a new message here. It looks like someone tried to wipe all the AR crew records from the station, but a few couldn't be deleted. System shows the ones left behind were being accessed at the time of the wipe. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, we will pick up on the medical side after this. I think the plan they've got seems pretty solid. If it works out or not, we'll have to wait to see. Uh, Natalie seemed very confident that they were going to be able to pull it off. However, okay, where's the, I keep tired of just saying other lady, Roberta, that's who it is. Uh, Roberta doesn't, Roberta doesn't sound quite as confident. She's a little more nervous. And then Sarah is kind of totally freaking out. <laughs> I don't think she has any confidence it's going to work. And obviously Andrew is like, no, it's, it's not going to work. We're all, we're all going to die. What a fascinating game this has turned out to be. We didn't really learn a lot about Odin in this one. And we haven't really learned a lot about Odin along the way. We know that he's an AI. We know that he can be everywhere. We know that he's uh, in charge of a lot of stuff here. And a lot of these people have gone gotten to the point where they confide in Odin. They ask for Odin's advice. Uh, they use him for comfort, like what we just saw with Sarah. So he's, Odin could easily see him par, see himself as part of the crew. And if he has developed some kind of like feelings and friendships for the people that are here, I could see him maybe trying to sabotage their escape out of, out of loss of, you know, feeling alone. I don't know. I got a feeling it's the next area when we get into the engineering section. I think that's what the next ring is. That's probably where we'll start to get more information about Odin. Right here, I think we're learning a lot about the crew. We're kind of finding their strengths and weaknesses, but I think Odin is going to be the big piece of the puzzle. It'll start bringing all this together. Maybe we'll get there in the next episode. We'll have to wait to see. Anyways, I'm absolutely loving this game. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.